My name is Michael Markowski and I'm an artist originally from Calgary. I make mostly paintings and drawings while traveling through the landscape on cars or in buses and airplanes. I generally try to create some sort of challenge for myself that kind of frustrates the creative process. My challenge is to make a drawing, videotape the creation of that drawing, and post every day throughout 2016, which is a huge challenge. My routine is to set up the camera and do just a couple quick kind of time lapses as establishing shots to kind of show where I am and then to move into the drawing. And then while I'm drawing, I'm also documenting myself in that situation. One of the things I tend to do is do a lot of project-based artwork where I'm in a short period of time making a lot of art. And then I don't make art for another month and I don't touch a pencil. One thing I wanted to do with this project was really focus on keeping a daily practice and really getting into the groove of making things over and over and over again. Because I find when I do do these singular projects, that first few days is a warm up again. And it's, what if I was warmed up all year round and then I started a new project and I was ready to go right off the bat? Every time I've read about a really successful musician or writer or painter, I read about how they have a daily practice, how they go to the studio every day and they make artwork. If I want to be one of those artists I admire, it makes sense to follow the lessons of people who've done it in the past. As soon as you start doing something like this, you form rules for yourself just to kind of get started. And then as the project goes on, you wonder what rules are necessary and which ones can I break? And if by breaking them, am I being creative in breaking them or being lazy in breaking them? One thing I'm working on right now is trying to figure out how to make these things quicker and faster. Currently, you know, it's taking me about six to eight hours for a one minute video. <laughs> Having the sort of social aspect to this project where I'm creating videos of the drawings and sharing them on a daily basis is intimidating, but it's also reassuring because it keeps a certain flow going and it makes me accountable to other people. At the same time, I don't want to get trapped into that kind of thinking, especially there have been times where I go online and there's like 10 people have seen them and I think like, wow, nobody cares, right? So maybe I should just stop. Ultimately, that motivation has to come from inside. Otherwise, it's not sustainable. As I get more and more motivated to do more and more drawings and I see the results of that and I feel my ability growing, then it just feeds into the practice. So it'll be interesting to see where things are a few months from now, let alone a whole year. I have one hell of a demo reel. <laughs> yeah.